Hey there, in today's travel tip video, I have lightweight bags that will help passengers fly with strict airlines. Some international flights have extreme personal item bag requirements for passengers who only take carry-on bags. I will show you three personal item bags that you are allowed to carry onto the airplane that will meet weight limit requirements for your trip. This first backpack is small and not deep. One thing that I like about these straps is that they are streamlined if you do not want to use it as a backpack. The handle is also close without protruding. If you can see like the strap starts on the back of the backpack, if that makes sense. This is not a sponsored video, but when you adjust the straps, there is no slack. So you don't have extra straps hanging down. One helpful feature is you only have one pocket for a water bottle and it does not protrude from the backpack. And there are minimal pockets that you can see. One travel hack for minimalists is to pack in a black colored bag. They just look smaller. The hidden pockets also help you pack without adding size to that bag. This personal item bag is 16 inches in height and it is luxurious to me. It is like all of the other bags I'm going to show you, water resistant and it weighs 1.75 pounds. Your task, if you are flying on a strict foreign airline usually, um, you will have to test and compare the sizes of the bags in person, depending on whether you need your bag to be lightweight per that strict airline's requirements or a different size. Airlines are not making every single passenger put their bag in a bag sizer, but if you stand out or if you've got everything hanging off of it, or it looks bigger than it should, then you might be under that scrutiny. So here are some travel tips and the next couple of bags that I have to show you. Tip number one is to search your airline's bag requirement size as well as what the weight limit is. My tip is to read the fine print when you purchase your ticket. It's so frustrating. I wish they would let you know ahead of time that you're going to be on a partner airline and that they have severely limited size requirements or weight restrictions for you. But look for those words, partner airline. Another tip is to invest in an hour of your precious time and call the airline or find an email somehow and that has it in writing so that you can prove it or ask more efficiently or uh, ask with more authority. And a very helpful tip is this. You're going to buy several that look right and return the ones that do not fit that requirement or what you need to pack, especially, or the weight once you get everything packed. I have to see the bags in person and really test them out before I know if it's going to be for me. But another option we always have is to check luggage. And you might want to invest in that for that trip only. This next bag weighs 14 ounces, not even a pound. And it has a 30 liter capacity of volume inside though. So if you pack it all the way full, it might look oversized. So just know that. This personal item bag is collapsible and it is packable. So it comes to you packed in and folded up in this front pocket. And one con against this type of bag is it has no structure whatsoever. So one tip might be to pack your heaviest items or like compression cubes or folded clothes or rolls, rolled clothes in the base of your backpack for two reasons. One, to give it structure and two, to fill up all of the empty pockets of space as you build up from the bottom. Because when you get to the top, it's easy to find little pockets of space with your extras that you're going to be packing. But it's harder to find the empty pockets of space near the base. So you're gonna take care of that ahead of time. One tip is to pack your travel essentials horizontally and then test it by packing them vertically and see which one offers you more space or maximizes the space of your personal item bag. Another tip is to notice the features that this bag offers without adding size, okay? You're looking at the pockets. You're looking at the tabs that you can attach items to or hang items from. You're looking at the water bottle pockets. Like, see, this is a mesh and very lightweight 
water bottle pocket, but I can pack something in there besides a water bottle. You're also noticing these straps, like the other ones were padded just a little bit, um, but these are like paper thin, can you see? And the strap is on the back, so it does not add height to the bag size. You might notice if it has locking zippers for that particular trip, one travel hack, instead of looking for a bag just because of the lock, locking zippers is to buy one of those clips that will connect your zippers, which slows down a thief or someone trying to use a pickpocket trick on you. You can see that I've tested or tried to show you the volume that is available inside this tiny lightweight bag with a Costco sized paper towels. If you've never seen the Costco paper towels, which are not wrapped anymore, don't like that feature. Um, it can, it shows you how deep the bag is for having to pack in only one bag or to maximize what you can pack by packing in only one bag. In a video that's gonna pop up, I have tested the rolling method, the folding method, and packing only in compression cubes with the same amount of clothing. So you can see and compare how it might work for you. Surprise, I have a bonus backpack that I totally forgot about. I've had this anti-theft backpack for at least five years. The quality is top notch as well. So I've kept this backpack. It is size large and comes in about six colors and then the medium is not even an inch smaller. At the size large, it is 13 inches high and weighs 1.4 pounds. The reason it's anti-theft is it fits against your back. When you do unzip that back pocket, things could spill out to me, especially if you try to get to those back pockets, but it does have one pretty deep pocket on the flap that can fold down. I like the brushed fleece almost feel of the fabric inside the backpack as well. Another feature of this extremely small backpack is that the water bottle pockets do not stretch whatsoever. So I would pack something down in there to secure it. There is a hidden pocket on the very front of this backpack that I love for getting to during the flight, let's say. You could pack your iPad in there and some other travel essentials for the flight. It does come with a strap, so if you would like to carry it as a tote bag, that's what those clips are for. And then you could also lock the zippers with the little clip I talked about. This bag that I have had for probably three years does have locking zippers, and I totally forgot that I have had this bag last December when two pilot wives um, took this bag to Belgium for our Christmas market trip. I've never wanted to use this bag because I thought that I would be going into my backpack very often and having to take time to get the, through the locked zippers, but that wasn't the case because you hardly ever go in there because you're using a crossbody bag mostly. This personal item bag weighs 11 ounces and is 17 inches long if you fill it full, but since it is collapsible, it can look smaller or shorter. The fabric on the front is slash resistant and the bottom, the, the straps are thicker you can see, but they are also slash resistant. And that does not mean you're never going to be pickpocketed like so many people who comment on my videos tell me, um, but it means that it's going to slow down a criminal and you don't want to be an easy target. I have a whole video on that though. But these features of lightweight bags will only help you if it fits your airline's strict requirements. I don't know if you can see it. It has this little bitty tab that you could hang something on. It does have the water pockets, water bottle pockets. This is not a pocket. This, way, this is what you would fold it into when you're done with the bag. So it does have a little bit of structure, just a little bit more than the second bag I showed you. There's this pocket here that does go all the way down the length of the backpack. Notice the handle is on the back. It's not adding height to the size of this bag either. You do have the straps that hang off. If you also need to pack medicine in your personal item bags, because you know you never want to pack them in checked luggage or any suitcase that gets checked at the last minute to the belly of the airplane, um, I had, do have the rules for packing medicine, especially in foreign countries airport security with their rules. So watch that when it pops up. 
And I will have the links for these small minimalist personal item bags in the first comment as well as in the description paragraph that's under every one of my videos. All right, I hope this helps. Good luck to you and let us know if you are severely restricted by the weight or the size of your bag and how what travel hacks you used to be successful. Thanks for your time.